Hi everybody, it's Andy Masmanian from Amazing Sense by Annie, Independent Sensei Consultant. Welcome to my amazing YouTube channel. I was just about to say welcome to Zoom. I've been on Zoom lately and um, yeah, I you know what? I thought I I thought it would be kind of like done and over with after the pandemic. Or is the pandemic still on? Anyways, but it just seems to continue as some people continue to work from home, which is totally fine. However, um, I'm so done with Zoom, and uh, it's alright. I I understand it's it's part of it's part of my career, it's part of life, and um, but like all this time spending in my office, I love being in my office. Don't get me wrong, but like and on the screen plus school and 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 so forth is is uh definitely like that screen time fatigue i know they call it zoom fatigue but i'm gonna call it screen time fatigue is is very very true so i'm grateful it's friday i'm grateful the sun is out it's super super bright it's a beautiful fall morning here in southern ontario canada and i'm super excited to be talking to you about snow yes it is like the title says I'm going to talk to you about the new Scentsy 2022 November scent and warmer of the month. I cannot believe that 2022 is somewhat slowly coming, coming to an end. Honestly, like where has the past three years or two years, two and a half years gone? Um, I, when I look back, I don't necessarily like regret the past two years. There's been a lot of growth and I mean, I've gotten, I've gotten a graduate degree. I've started another business. So um, and I've explored different avenues with not just within Sensi, but within like other parts of my life. And I have to say that it, it hasn't been all that bad. Um, so yeah, you know what? It's, it's, I think it's all important for us to reflect, um, in the present and in the past and try to pick out those, uh, little, little pockets of positivity or however you want to, however you want to look at it. But not to look back and say what a waste it's been, but um, what a wonderful experience, perhaps. And um, I know that may be easier for, for me to say for somebody who has gone through many, many struggles and challenges, but let's have grace with one another. Um, I, too, have gone through some difficulties, much like yourself, and uh, but I still choose to uh, pick out those uh, pockets of positivity in the past. So anyways, whew. That's kind of a heavy start to the scent and warmer of the month, but I just wanted to get it off my chest. <sighs> I feel better now. All right, so we're talking about sparkling snowman in the middle of November when it's beautiful outside. I can't wait to get out there for a nice little run this morning and tell you, but first I wanna tell you more about this one as well. Sweet orange and evergreen, <gasps> okay. If there's ever been a scentsy Christmas tree-like smell, I have to say it's this one. I can't remember a time when scentsy combined that citrus smell of orange and evergreen. Okay, well, I might as well talk to you about the. I might as well talk to you about the um, wax bar since I'm already getting into it because I've already melted it. I've made samples. And I've got some in my warmers this morning and it's absolutely beautiful. Like this is kind of a scent that I can definitely use, not maybe all year round, but definitely this time of the year, like starting maybe August, end of August, all the way through till probably January, February. But sweet orange and evergreen for November, we've got top notes of sweet orange, pineapple water, dew soaked greens, and then there's some mid notes of pine needle, Douglas fir, fresh cut evergreens, and then base notes of Christmas balsam, cedar wood bark, and musk. Overall, it's described as festive fresh cut evergreens decked with sweet orange and warm cedar wood invite you to a quintessential winter night. It belongs in the woodsy family. I completely agree with that. It's just, it's not too strong um i'm thinking like icicles and evergreen or or iced pine or all the other ones I'm, i can't even think of their names right now but this one is is not as like pow christmas tree smell or or foresty smell in your face like pine needles it it's it's on the softer side of things i mean that's my nose every nose is different remember that but it's got a really really good combination of that orange and and evergreen smell to be honest with you i don't smell anything pineapple-y 
or musky. However, you know, I think they all really, really complement each other. I do smell just oranges and Christmas trees, to be honest. But again, the combination of the two is perfect. I think, I think if you're not a big fan of the Christmas tree smell, but you want to try one, this might be a really good introduction to that Christmas tree smell. So sweet orange and evergreen is by far one of the best evergreen or Christmas tree smells I have smelled in my past. What? Almost like, no, it's been, wow. It's been over six years now. Has it? Holy moly. All right. So let's get on to this warmer of sparkling snowman. We've got 120 volts, 60 hertz, and 13 watts. This is, it's an element warmer, but it lights up. I'll get to it in a second. It's just, it's very, very interesting. As you can see in the picture, it is lighting up, but in the back there, here, sorry, right there, you can see the element portion of the warmer. So it's described as with his silver snow gear and delicate snowflakes that emit a warm glow when lit, this sparkling snowman makes the jolliest addition to your holiday display. And it's going to be 10% off starting November 1st, as well as the wax bars. So yes, I'm in Canada. I'm not going to talk about prices here, but it will be 10% off starting in Canada and the U.S. You can visit me online at www.amazing02.senti.ca. Just follow a bunch of links down below. No worries. When you get online, it will ask you which store you want to shop from. So click on your own store, U.S., Mexico, wherever you're from. And you can shop directly from that store and get it all shipped right to your home. If you're interested in hosting an online party and perhaps getting one of these for free or half price, give me a call or text me. All right. So scent of the month, warmer of the month, you get about 50 of the brochures. You're also going to get a whole bunch of scratch and sniff stickers. Yes, I've already used them. And you're going to get eight wax bars. Unfortunately, I'm no longer get room sprays or party testers. I've noticed that it's gotten lower and lower. Sensi, what's going on? All right, at least throw in like a car bar or a scent circle. Anyways, all right, let's open this up. Okay, so right away we've got creepy little arms here at the top. And you know what? It's easy peasy. The warmer is already put together other than the arms and the dish. Oh, it's surprisingly very, very light. All right, let me move some stuff out of the way. And, okay, so we've got a nice just kind of basic ceramic, I don't know, what do you call this? Like slightly deformed um, rectangle dish. Um, this dish reminds me, you know what? This is a similar kind of style to, remember that like bird warmer and even there some of their other Christmas warmers like the Disney Christmas tree and I think the snow globe. It's that similar style, oh, so cute, where the warmer is at the back of the actual um, display or the actual item. I don't know subject <laughs> I actually before I even saw the flyer just based on the pictures without really observing it that closely I thought it was um you know a light bulb warmer and that the warming or warming dish was underneath the hat so I kind of hoped for that I'm not a big fan of this style of warmer I feel like they're quite chunky um and there's this all this like kind of unnecessary space However, I appreciate the idea and style, and I, I still think it's super cute. That's what's great about Scentsy is that there's something for everybody, right? If you, I love element warmers, don't get me wrong. They're actually one of my, they're, I prefer element warmers over light bulb warmers. Um, I wish there was more element warmers. However, again, this style, yeah, it's, but it's, you know, it is what it is. So You've got your hot plate right here for the element warmer, and then your dish would go directly on here, and then the wax goes inside this. The whole point of, for me, for Scentsy is kind of like that hidden, um, hidden wax, like melting component, and then the display like either lights up or it sits kind of like discreetly on a table, um, and you don't really know what's 
what's producing the scent. I mean, this is wonderful because you'll see that it's it's scentsy. You'll see the wax melting in the background or in the back. But it's just, there's something about that hidden element. You know what I mean? Where the dish is on the inside. All right. Okay, okay. I know I'm talking to you. Okay, get on with it, Annie. All right. So I'm going to call them creepy claws. But we got the snowman's hands. And right on the side, you can see the little, it's like a little rubber divot, something. And it just squishes in right there. Like that. There we go. And one on this side. I don't know if I'm putting it on right. Let's see the picture. Yeah, I think that looks right. I always like assume these are like thumbs, but in the picture it shows that they're pointing downwards. Oh, he is cute. Okay, so this is him all put together. Let's plug him in. Where's my ugly extension cord? And I should probably try to close the blinds a little bit more. I know it's super bright. So sorry. Okay, let's turn them on. Oh, there he is. So you can see the LED inside lighting up. How adorable that is that. And I can see some of the little like sparkles on the back of my wall already or just the little dots. I mean, they don't really look like snowflakes per se. Not yet, at least because the room is so bright. But I think you get the idea. And yeah, you can see the little um, electrical component in there. It is an LED light, right? Am I am I saying it correctly? Mm, I'm going to say it's an LED light. Somebody correct me. Yeah, isn't it? Glows when lit. It doesn't actually... <laughs> it lights up. <laughs> so cute. So, yeah. I think that is nice. I love that it has little stoppers at the bottom so it doesn't slip when it's stabilized and the cord is already secured in its spot and it the cord is in the back so again there's some hidden component to it you can kind of like tuck it in the corner i feel like i want to put this in my upstairs guest bathroom it's so so sweet it's just i like the 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 height of it um how tall is it you're probably going to ask me it's about 20 centimeters tall according to my brochure and there he is super super happy i would say start off with one or two cubes of wax pop it in here do not put any more than four according to the bottom and it also says do not use for food but um so this hot plate it's already starting to gently warm up it will warm up and gently melt the wax. Sensi is great. They do they do warm up. They do get hot, but in my experience, they're they're not hot enough to like cause third degree burns. Um, they are safe around children and pets. I mean, there is melted wax in there, so yes, if you do bump into it or if it or if it falls over and breaks, it is it is glass. Um, and then there is wax to to be cleaned up. But I mean, that's kind of to be expected with any sort of sort of lamp or um any vase or so forth but at least there's not that fire component right um and i'm always grateful for that if i ever do happen to spell sp uh, spell bump uh, spill wax <laughs> is that it's just the wax it's or it's just the glass that i have to clean up um to be honest with you in my six years i've only ever broken one warmer and that wasn't even a whole warmer and i've only spilt the wax maybe two or three times i've even dipped my hair in it by accident all right so we've got the sparkling snowman along with the sweet orange and evergreen wax bar that will all be available starting november 1st so don't forget to visit me online at www.amazing02.sensi.ca again no worries if you're not from canada the website will prompt you to choose which store, which country you're from. You can also visit me on Instagram and TikTok to follow my Scentsy journeys there. And if you're wondering what is Annie doing on her personal time, go please and check out my other um, adventure at www.somethingamazingwithannie.com and follow me along there. If you have any questions about this swarmer, please post it below. Let me know some, give me some positive feedback, positive comments. I love hearing your positive comments. And if I don't answer your questions, there are so many amazing people out there that will, um, 
definitely pitch in and help answer those questions. Again, I love and appreciate all of your support over the years. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and a like and turn on your notifications so you too can receive all the latest, greatest, amazing Scentsy news and product reviews. You have to also subscribe, right? All right, everybody, I've said too much. Thank you so much for listening and supporting me. Please, please be kind to one another. Always, always stay safe and be amazing. Bye for now. Mwah. <laughs>